And the last player that we're going to be considering is Brad Hogg. Brad Hogg made his entry into Western Australian cricket as a batsman who batted at 6 or 5 or 7 and bowled a little bit of left arm medium pace. And it became obvious that his left arm medium bowling was not going to be of use to Western Australia, so he decided to take up left arm leg spin. And he worked on it and he worked on it, and he developed the point to the point where he became an all-rounder, where he could bat and bowl good left arm leg spin. He made his debut for Australia uh, in the mid-90s, but he didn't do very well. And then he kept working on it and quit working on it, and then he eventually reached the point where he could become a front-line spin bowler. He was no longer a uh, part-time or all-round spin bowler who could bowl a few overs in a short spell. But actually a front-line bowler whose job it was to bowl long spells, control the play, take lots of wickets. And he just neglected his batting more and more so. He started off in Western Australia batting at 6 or 7. But then, when he pl started playing for Australia, he would bat at 7 or 8. And then, over the course of time, he just didn't work on his batting, kept focusing on just developing his spin, becoming one of the world's most well-regarded and uh, well-respected leg spinners. And he was batting at 11 by the end of his career, because he just could not um, make any runs or even really hold his own with the bat anymore. And so Brad Hogg's career was completely transformed by the fact that he decided to just focus dedicatedly, devotedly on developing his spin bowling to become a great spin bowler. And his career stands for itself. So, 